Hello guys and welcome to another game drop video. Today I'm back playing some more Star Wars Battlefront 2. I've been playing it a lot over the last few weeks. I did own this game at launch, played it for a bit, but I've only recently started playing it again since all of the updates have been released. And I'm really enjoying it. Planning to play a lot more in the future and I've got a lot of videos planned up and coming so if you're a Star Wars Battlefront 2 fan make sure to subscribe and check out my videos that are coming up. A lot of class guides and tip videos, gameplay videos, all that sort of thing, so make sure to subscribe and look out for those videos in the future. Today I wanted to run through what I think is the easiest and quickest way to uh, level up some of the classes in Battlefront 2, because I know there's a lot of new specialist uh, support classes in the game, and the whole ranking system is, has changed in terms of ranking up the classes, so... I wanted to go through what I think is the quickest and easiest ways to rank these up and get those purple star cards which can give you the edge when playing online. So there's a lot of different ways to do this, I think mainly you just need to put the time in and play the objective in game modes and you'll rank up quite quickly. But what I think is one of the easiest and quickest ways to do it is with the co-op mode. So if you go onto the play tab and into co-op you can see there's a few options here and what this is you play in teams of four online it's very similar to the online games except you're playing entirely AI enemies so there's four different options you can go into these and play basically what are similar to online games but against AI it makes it a lot easier to get kills, get caps and when you're playing as the classes and the support classes from what I can tell the XP doesn't actually get altered. I know with the heroes the XP you get is less for the kills etc but it seems as though playing as the classes and support classes you get the same XP as you would as when playing in normal online games. So because it's so much easier to get killed and captures you can jump into these games and rack up a lot of XP playing against AI. That's all for today thanks a lot for watching guys let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.